Hi, this is Dr. Gary. Welcome to our daily tune-up today. The message today is about you. Of course, it's always about us in some way, isn't it? But today I want you to realize that the message today is really important when we really think about our personal potential. What's going on with you today? When you get up in the morning, do you actually think about that? And do you actually think about how you want your day to go, let alone the entire week? You know, it's more of a choice than you really think it is. How we choose to live our life pretty much is a choice. And I know you can argue that by saying, well, I would like to have more money and I don't. I would like to have more peace than I don't. I would like to have more health and I really don't. I didn't choose that, Gary. Well, in a way you did. It's the way you focus. And the way you focus directs you to the activities, the things that you do, eat, say, and acquire. Today, I want you to take personal responsibility for improving your life if it is not where you want it to be. And to be honest with you, over years and years of doing what I do, I've never really run into anyone that is totally satisfied with what's going on in their life, and that's not something wrong. It just means you're dissatisfied. We can be a victim of that, or we can do something about it starting today. Now, what you can do today is start looking at the past and see what you've learned from the past. And if you're doing patterns and behaviors today, just like you did yesterday, and you're one of those people that say, well, I can't change, that's just who I am, what you're saying is you have the same intelligence as a dog or a horse. You can learn differently than they can. You have the ability to think right and wrong, up and down, left and right. You have memories. More than an animal, you're a human being. And there's a reason human beings can do what they do. They can think. Today it's time for you to start thinking about what you want. How would you like your life to be? Not even how would you like to change it, just how would you like it to be? You see, if you think, I want to change my life, that kind of presupposes there's something wrong with it, and that's part of the problem. Let's just say, how do I want it to be? And then in your own mind, visualize that, think about it, or create some kind of thought that almost has you in a fantasy mode about thinking about just today and how you want today to end up. If you will do that, you're going to be shocked. You will actually create what you're thinking about more times than not. It has to be within reason. It has to be doable by you. You have to look at it with positive terms. And above all, it has to be somewhat sensory based. You have to feel it. You have to literally be able to visualize it or think about it and feel it and imagine yourself in it. I want you this week to really, really work on developing your own ability to take responsibility for where you are in your life and where you're going. And not wait around for someone to discover you, hire you, or save you. It's time to start saving yourself. Even if you have a career right now that you love, there's things you can do to move in a direction that's even better than where you're going. And if you're unemployed, it's time to look at your own creativity. It's time to quit literally looking for a job or hoping someone will find you. And it's time now to decide you're going to find yourself and do something about it. So let's work on that today. Let's have some fun with it. Let's lighten up a little bit and enjoy. This is a beautiful day. It's a day that the universe is created for us to live, so let's live. And in the process of living, let's make some choices and decisions that are going to change a little bit of the way we look at things. Because if you change the way you look at things, the things you look at start changing. Until tomorrow, this is Dr. Gary wishing you a great day. Have fun.